Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Player Diff with 579 rating versus Absolute Buckets with 610 rating. So this is going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's just hop right in. So we're going to go ahead and see Player when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and then they're going to decide to go first. 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Ash, Droplet, Curtain Razor, Quick Launch, and Shade. So they do have two going second cards here and then a bunch of random cards. I actually know what they're playing just because like they've talked to my Discord before. Also, if you want to join my Discord, link down below in the description. But yeah, I, I already know what they're playing. They're playing the, uh, the Raid Raptor strategy. And then they have Called By, Emergency, Ben 10, Talents, and Nova. So, you know, they have Talents as a going second card here plus their engine. Going first, this would have been insane. They would have had the full combo of hand trap, called by, then talents you into the admit defeat. Activate the curtain raiser, effect, summon itself out, and then they're going to set shade, activate shade. I'm not actually like sure what their combo does exactly. They're going to go ahead and force tricks effect to go search, but I know it's going to be insane here though. You know, the opponent doesn't have anything. So they're going to go ahead and grab the Tribute, Normal Summon Effect, and then this Foolish Burials. Uh, I know this also has like a Search Effect during your main phase 2. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle this turn, you can add a rank up. Okay, so that's not really that good. Yeah, I, I haven't read like the second effects of a lot of these. And this you can banish it to go Search. And then go ahead and summon Wise Tricks. Wise Tricks Effect. Gosh, this card's so cool. They're going to summon out Wing, and then activate that, Banish to go search. I Wait, oh, this can search any Raid Raptor card? I thought this had to search the Speller Trap, but I guess everyone was just always searching the, like, the Continuous Spell that lets you search. Um, this one lets you summon itself out by detaching one, um, and then this is a free summon. And doesn't this give you a search? You can summon it. Uh, nope, thinking about the wrong one. Go ahead and summon out, and then go for Raider's Knight, Raider's Knight effect, detach, and then they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna summon out the Stranger Falcon, Wise Tricks effect, that's gonna set the skip force, they read it there, and then go ahead and activate to summon out the Arsenal Falcon effect, detach, special summon out the Strange from the deck, and then activate that effect, it's gonna summon out the Rider's Wing, and then turn those into Rusty, and then Falcon Effect, Special Summon that back, and then put the Ultimate Falcon on top of it, Ultimate Falcon Effect, Detach. Now, I have to read what this does, because, you know, this is just like the card that summoned off Awakening. I forget what this card actually does, though. Uh, you can detach the material from this card for the rest of the turn. All your opponent's monsters will lose a thousand attack. Also, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated. Ah... Uh, yeah, the second effect's not going to do anything here. But, yep, pretty much like as I thought your opponent. Sadly, you can't do that like earlier in the combo. And then they're going to go for the ga 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 magician. Wait, is this actually... It actually does have four ga 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 ga's in it. Wow, that's, that's kind of wild. Activate quick launch. It's going to summon out tracer. And then turn tracer into striker dragon. Striker dragon effect. Go search boot. And then Striker Dragon Effect, pop, add back, and then activate boot, boot effect, summon tracer, tracer effect, pop boot to summon out recharger, and then they're going to turn those into an IP. Alright, so like quick launch equals IP there, um, it's honestly like fair enough. And then activate the effect, special summon back out from the graveyard, wing effect, attach, special summon that back out, and then they're going to activate rusty. What? You can dump the uh, what? Oh, this card's always a Phantom Knight card. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I was confused there for a second. Then they're going to go ahead and set this. And then get rid of those. Go for Anaconda. Anaconda effect. Oh my gosh, they're also playing Dragoon in this. So this is a Kaliuga. Dragoon, IP, and also like they had Droplet Ash. Uh, that's a lot. 
Um, I don't think there's any follow-up here. No, there shouldn't be any follow-up here. Um, yeah. And then pass, draw instant fusion. So they're going to start off by activating this. Pay a thousand. And then they're going to chain this. And then chain IP. So IP is going to go ahead and link into an Avermax. And then go for Kaliuga. Um, reading, sorry, no problem. Instant fusion cannot resolve because Kaliuga. It will resolve because Kaliuga activates. It actually doesn't for its effect. It is kind of wild. It just goes ahead and negates. It indeed does negate Mystic Mind. And then it can pop it too. Um, this card is actually kind of broken with the pop effect. So yeah, they just submit defeat there. Now going on into the next game, we will go ahead and we're going to see Drytron decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Droll, Tracer, Rank Up, Shade, and Dinatherium, the good old Infernity card. So they have Drolls that go in second card, and then they have Prosperity, Emergency, Nova, Diviner, and Nova. So starting off the turn, activate Prosperity, and then they're going to banish three. Let's see, will they see an out to the Droll and Lockbird? And they do. Then put those back, drop the draw and lock bird, chain orange light, go ahead and negate that. And now they have like full combo here. Activate the ghost search, and then searching out the alpha, and then go ahead and activate the nova. Nova will summon out Zeta, and then alpha effect, tribute Zeta, summon out, and then that's going to go search for the Ben 10. Uh, they wanted to, they could have also Emergency, Surge Zeta, Nova, Summon Alpha. Like, done that a little bit differently. But they're gonna Zeta, and then it's gonna Tribute Ben 10, Summon Out, go grab the Ritual Spell, and then Ben 10 Effect to go search. And then Ben 10 will go ahead and search out from the deck, they're gonna grab the Diviner there. And then Overlay for Fafnir, and Defense. An attack. I was gonna say, like a lot of people don't summon this card in defense, but they're gonna go ahead and affect dump gamma. Probably won't matter. They're probably just gonna like link that away, and then activate summon out Ben Ten by detaching gamma effect tribute Ben Ten summon summon back out a friend, and then Ben Ten effect. You know, go search another light fairy, and now this time it's gonna go grab Ava. Then Ritual Spell Effect, add itself back, Targeting Gamma, Normal Diviner, Diviner, Dump the Herald, and then Herald Effect to go search. And then that's going to go search out the Idaton. And then Activate, Summon Idaton, Idaton Effect, Add Back Ritual Spell. And then Overlay for Beatrice. And then Beatrice Effect to go dump the Herald from the deck to the graveyard. And then Activate the Ritual Spell. Detach, summon out the ultimateness, and then slap those into an IP and pass turn. So this is three interruptions right here, and then IP will be the fourth. And this will also let them see a delta. And then oh that's dirty. That's dirty. Draws into a droplet. Yeah, it's tough. Go main phase. Activate droplet. And then this will be getting rid of two, negate the Herald and the IP. And then normal summon out Tracer, get rid of it, go for Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon effect. Um, they probably should go ahead and activate Ultimateness, discard, and then go ahead and search out an Orange Light Diviner. Just so that way they have an interruption. Um, yeah, go search Boot, activate Boot effect. Special summon back out from the graveyard. And then Tracer effect to pop boot. Maybe they just don't know the interaction between like ultimateness and droplet. There's honestly a lot of people that don't know that interaction. It kind of surprises me. Because like, it's, it, it's really good to know. It's really good to know. It's something that like, they prob probably should have picked up on over like the last year. Um, it's like a very common occurrence with this deck. And then effect, go search, activate that effect, detach, special summon itself out, and then striker dragon effect, that will pop itself, add recharger, and then recharger effect, target the striker dragon, and then special summon back out the tracer, 
and then slap those into the wise tricks wise tricks effect the special out from the deck and then they're going to summon out the mimicry and then slap those in the savage savage effect was there a reason last game why they went for ip over savage i guess it's because like their rank up into Kali Yuga would just negate it anyhow. But, I don't know, maybe you just have, like, Savage Dragoon. And then, like, you can kind of just win with that, honestly. Like, Savage Dragoon's enough to win against a lot of people. And then they had Ash on top of it. And then, like, worst comes to worst, you just rank up into Kali Yuga. And you just, like, win anyhow. But Savage Effect to equip. And then activate... Banish Ghost Search. They really don't know the Herald interaction with Droplet. And they're just straight going to lose because of it. It's, it's so tough to watch. Like, it's, it's actually so tough here. Ah. You know, hopefully they watch this and they uh, they learn. Because they definitely should have won this game. Wise Tricks effect set from the deck. And then activate this effect. That's going to detach. Pop the Beatrice. Burn them. Affect some of Dante. Imagine. One day. One day. Uh, rank up into this. And then activate that effect. Detach. Special effect. Bring back. And then turn those into a rusty. And then activate that effect. Summon itself out. Then special summon the ultimate falcon. Ultimate falcon effect. No cards effects for them now. It said GG's. Yeah, just go ahead and Anaconda. Dragoon game. Wow. Well, at least I said GG's, you know, that that's better than uh, yesterday's last replay where the person just, like, shuffled their hand and BM'd, so hey, I'll take that. But hopefully they're watching this and they learn this interaction. Um, you know, like, the goal of the channel is to get people to become better players and hopefully, uh, hopefully they just, like, see or hear about this so that way, you know... They can become a better player, learn how to play against Droplet better with their deck, um, learn how to play against Stark Ruler better, um, just stuff like that. Beating cards like that is definitely really important, especially as a combo deck, learning like all the interactions with those type of cards. But seeing how long the match was, you can see that it was only 17 minutes. Jeez, I mean, it was a 2-0. Yeah, I guess it really was pretty quick, but I guess there was just like a lot going on on this side that it just felt longer. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.